here we go. I guess this is round three, and it's the second time today. Um, most of you guys watching know I spent a lot of time in prison. And some of the people I encounter in the day, they also know or they find out because it's easier for me to just be up front and let them know because I would never want it to be discovered later on and then a person thinks that I was misleading them or anything. And this is on a lot of fronts too, you know, like professionally, if somebody's working for me, if I'm working for them, you know, socially, romantically, pretty much covers all the bases. And most times people ask a version of the same question. What was prison like? How did you do that long? Well, the way I did that long was waking up every day, day after day, after day, after day, after day. That's how. And as far as what prison's like, The easiest explanation is this. Prison is a place where everything a sane person wants is absent. Prison is a place where everything you want is somewhere else. Everything you want to be is somewhere else. Every person you want to be with is somewhere else. And that's prison. Prison is the utter and complete absence of almost everything you want. I say almost because much to the disbelief of a lot of people out here, I know a lot of good guys in prison. And I know a lot of good guys with life sentences in prison. That may be alien to a lot of people out here because they think, you know, ah, everybody in prison deserves to be there. True enough, you know. Even some of the guys in prison actually understand that. Not very many. There's 106,000 inmates in the state of Florida prison system. I would say that, counting myself, there's probably two other guys who are guilty of the crime that they're charged with. Other guys, they fantasize and they romanticize. They say, oh, I'm being held against my will, or, oh, I'm in captivity, or, oh, I'm being held hostage. Yeah, they're being held hostage by their own ignorance. That's what they're being held hostage by. And I could go on and on about that and about them. Instead, I'll tell you about prison, and prison sucks. And even in that deepest darkest, dankest pit of misery, people actually find friendship because, you know, there's a saying about water finding its own level, you know, meaning like if you take a glass and you hold it straight, you know, the water straight. I mean, look, here it is. Look, here's some water, right? See it? It's level. And if I turn the bottle, look, water, it's still level, man. Water finds its own level. That's the saying. And just like that, people find their own level, their own level of acceptance, their own level of survival, and like-minded people tend to gravitate towards each other. So for all the people who meet me and say, wow, I can't believe that guy was in prison, and for that long, remember and consider that there's other guys in there that I hung out with. And I hung out with them because they're good people. You know, I would never waste my time hanging out with a piece of crap. No matter where I am, I'd rather be alone. You know, I've actually dreamed about going to hell. And when I got there and saw the pieces of crap that were there, I went and found a rock and sat all by myself. <sighs> so, yeah, that's why I consider myself to be an ambassador of prison. And I consider myself to be a citizen of prison. I consider myself to be 
a person with dual citizenship. I am a citizen of the free world. Got a photo ID to prove it. Look, photo ID, citizen of the free world. There I am. And I'm also a citizen of prison. Because prison is a culture. It's, it's a republic. It's a, a country, a city, a state, a government. However you want to look at it. It is a group of people. And prison is where they live. And prison is how they live. And I am a citizen of prison. That's what I am. I'm a citizen of the free world. And I'm a citizen of prison. Yes. And I'm proud to know guys in prison. I'm proud of them. And they motivate me to be better. Because they inspire me to be a better person. Because I want to represent them. And the prison culture to the best that it could ever be represented by anybody. I want people to see me. And say, if there are more people like him in prison, we need to do something about giving some of these guys a second chance. Do you know, and you can read this, you can write it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. The United States of America is the most incarcerated nation in the world. That's right. We are the United States of America. And we have more guys doing non-parole eligible life sentences, LWOPs, life without parole. It means die in prison. We have more guys doing that than any other nation. We have more guys in prison in the, in the United States doing non-parole eligible die in prison life sentences for their first conviction. And here we are, the United States of America, glorified champion of all the underdogs internationally, we champion refugees and the oppressed and all kinds of other people who have been put upon and put down on. <coughs> and what do we do to our own citizens? What do we do? As a nation, we revel in the fourth quarter comeback on football fields. Guys are heroes. Fourth quarter comebacks. Tom Brady, John Elway, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson. Fourth quarter comeback. Fourth quarter, fourth quarter, fourth quarter. We talk about late inning home runs. We talk about last second jumpers. We talk about all these things. Last second jump shots. Basketball. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yes. Uh, I want some beans and rice. Some beans and rice? Yes. Regular or large? Large. Four oh six. Mm -hmm. Four oh six? Yes. Thank you. They got so many damn people in this line. They're coming out and taking our orders. Chick-fil-A does that a lot, too. But getting back to what I was saying, as a nation, we glorify all these second chances in sports. You know, Michael Jordan's last second jumper over Cleveland. Michael Jordan's last second jumper when he pushed off on that poor little bastard out of Utah. I can't even think of his name anymore. He's a footnote. But everybody knows Jordan pushed off, and he made the last second jumper. Yay, we're America. Fourth quarter comeback. Well, there's a lot of guys in prison, man, that need a fourth quarter comeback. There's a lot of guys in prison that need a chance to get back in the game. It's their first mistake. And yes, it's terrible. Some of them have horrible crimes. Some of them have ridiculous crimes. And there's a victim to every crime. And I know that. And they know that. They know that. And we're still a nation built on second chances. And we forget that when we're dealing with a lot of guys who made some very serious mistakes. And I hope that one day that there's a system in place where when a guy gets locked up and he gets convicted, when he goes to get sentenced, that they have a caseworker or some kind of specialist there and they look at the guy and they look at the circumstances and they develop an objective list, you know, a plan like O.J. Simpson had, an objective list where they say, here, complete these objectives and we will bring you back for review 
and a chance to have your sentence mitigated. Give a guy something to strive for. Give him something to apply himself to. And these programs, you know, mathematics, you can figure out how long it takes to complete this program and that program and this other program. And when you stack these programs up, you can calculate how long it's going to take this guy to finish these programs. So if he's got nine months here, 12 months there, 18 months there, you know what I mean? Then you can say, well, nine months and 12 months, you know, that's that's 21 months. And then another 18 months, that's 39 months. So that's almost 40 months. That's more than three years. So if we give this guy five years and give him three years worth of programs in three years and some change, he can come back and maybe get his sentence mitigated and go home. If he proves and he dedicates himself to bettering himself. Because that's what it's all about. And right now, the only people that better themselves in prison are the ones that do it just for the sake of doing it. And the prison system in Florida sucks. It's a bunch of guys with nothing constructive to do, getting in all kinds of bullshit, because all it takes is a little bit of people, just a few people that dedicate themselves to bullshit, and then everybody else has got to dedicate a little bit of time to the bullshit too, because if you're not down with it, you're a victim of it. And you have to be willing to be into as much bullshit as the next guy to keep them from bringing their bullshit to you. They'll go find somebody else. But if you have programs that people can be dedicated to, they won't have time for the bullshit got to have meaningful activities in prison. That's what you need. That's what we need. That's what everybody needs. Because most of these guys in prison that are screwed up don't have life. They've got a term of years and they're going to get out and they're going to bring that bullshit right to your community where you live. That's where they're coming. And they have nothing to think with dumbasses from the top to the bottom, a product of not only their own stupidity, but their own stupidity multiplied by the stupidity of the system that they have been enduring. So think about that. Most people say, oh, that shit in prison, that's a they problem. No, it's not. It's a we problem. Because guys in prison are still part of the society of the free world, a very small part but they are still part. We are still part. I say we because I am still a citizen of prison. And we are always a part of the free world, whether the free world admits it or fools themselves into denying it. And that's it. That's about all I got to say tonight. Let me think if I can come up with something witty. Um... I could probably tell you a few funny stories about prison, but uh, I've been on for 13 minutes and 22 seconds already. Wow. Yeah, I can go on. I can I can really um jump in when it comes to prison. It's something close to my heart, something that occupies my thoughts, you know what I mean? And um, there's a lot of guys in prison I'm proud of. There's a lot of guys in prison I'm proud to know. There's a lot of guys in prison I wish could be out here right now. I wish they had a chance. I really do. And there's a, there's some screw-ups in prison that if they would have had a chance, maybe they wouldn't be such a big screw-up. You know, maybe if they had a reason to be sane, they would abandon their insanity. But that's a, a what-if question for somebody else. I just know that the system that exists as it exists really needs to be fixed. And the easiest way to fix it is to install a mechanism where people can strive to be better and better themselves and be eligible for some type of mitigation on their sentences. That's what I really believe. And, um, yeah, that's it. Well, here comes the finger, and it's about to turn off the camera. That's it. Say goodbye.